I'm going to share a piece of advice that I got early on in my career. And I don't know if it applies now. In fact, I think it might actually be some bad advice in some scenarios, but my intention is good. So hopefully that counts for something. Um, I remember working a couple of years ago, many years ago, God, too many years ago. And one of my indirect supervisors, so, you know, someone I didn't report to, but he was at the supervisor status. Um, I'd been there for a short while. And I think he asked me, you know, some conversation came up and he just asked me, hey, you know, Muhammad, what do you do around here? Right? Like, how, how could you summarize your job? And my job was a little bit difficult to define, really. Um, so I remember I kind of went on this rant and he said, you know, I think you could benefit from keeping some sort of not journal, but he said, um, you know, you should document what you do every day, like get get some Excel sheet going um, every day. Just start putting in like what you did that day, because he said. Over time, you know, first of all, um, this is for you to document what sort of work you do, because he said over time, this job you have might it might evolve into something else, right? Because the, the title you have doesn't really seem to fit the work that you do. And if you document what you're doing every day in time, you can just go to HR or go to your manager and be like, hey, uh, my job title is this, but I'm looking over, you know, what I'm doing majority of the time. And I think my title should be, you know, should be this. This would probably be a more accurate term for me. So he said, I think you should, you know, you should do that also. He said, if there's ever layoffs or performance reviews, God forbid, um, you know, if you have documentation, if you have some sheet, some journal, it could even be a Word doc, just something where you're showing what you're doing, how it's adding value to the company, why it's important, all these things, right? If you're writing down when you're talking to someone, when you're meeting with someone, when a customer said, you know, had some good feedback for you, something. He said, some employee who has documentation of his, you know, a daily log is going to win out over another employee where his supervisor is not quite sure how important that employee is to the company. So just some piece of advice. I urge everyone to consider keeping some documentation, um, not, not for any other reason, they're really just for your own sake. Uh, it's helpful for monitoring your growth, monitoring, you know, how you're using your time. Um, it helps you also examine trends. So you might see that uh, every so often you'll notice that you're putting in a, some sort of entry. Um, so that's, you know, that can be helpful. So just keep track of what you're doing. It doesn't have to be daily. It doesn't even have to be weekly. Well, it should be weekly, actually, but it, you know, just periodically uh, put down simmer what you're doing, why it's valuable, why it's meaningful, you know, who are you talking to, who do you have FaceTime with, stuff like that. And now I'm going to touch on why this is a good piece of advice or it's good intentioned, but it might be a bad piece of advice. The reason I say it might be bad advice, because if you document everything you do, and you have some performance review, or maybe your company is thinking about layoffs, and your your boss gives you an opportunity to plead for your job, and you show him, hey, this is everything I do. Um, it's risky to give your boss that because there's always that slight possibility that he could keep that documentation, get rid of you anyway, and then when the next person comes in, you know, now he has this recipe for what your job was, your responsibilities, your duties, who you have to meet with what sort of work you're doing, how you're doing it, what tools you're using or or who you're, who you use to get the work done, you know, who you talk to, work with, collaborate with. So that is one of the risks of documenting everything is that um, if you do too good a job or honestly just well enough, just even a few notes can help. Um, it might make it easy to replace you. Uh, so uh, I would just kind of proceed with caution that it is good to keep a daily log and there might be a scenario where it can help you professionally, but just keep in mind, there is a chance that this could backfire and then you'll just give your boss, you know, the blueprints to replacing you um, with someone else.